What's going on, guys? Uh, this one will probably be short and sweet. I got this uh, idea from other podcasts I listened to that I really liked, and it was really uh, helpful to me to kind of connect how focus actually makes your brain see different things. And I thought it was super interesting, and I wanted to share it. And it's kind of piggybacking off the last one of where I was writing things down and how that helps you achieve goals and the different practices with that, like expanding on details, and it keeps your mind on the thing, which helps you uh, – keep getting further and deeper into those answers of whatever you're trying to figure out. But this is kind of the why it works and how your brain actually responds to that focus. So let's get into it, broy. Broy or boy? Boy or bro? Both. Um, so basically, um, first example is like a video you can find on YouTube. I think if you just type in awareness test, um, I'm sure, I don't know if you've seen this before. There's a bunch of different examples of it, but I'll give you the basic gist of it. Um, Basically, there's two teams, a team with white shirts and a team with black shirts of basketball players, five on five, but they're not playing. They're just like standing there. And the video says, try counting how many passes the white team makes to each other. And the video starts and the teams are jumping around, going across the screen, screen, intertwining between each other, throwing the ball back and forth. Um, It's kind of confusing. It's uh, you have to really focus hard. That's the whole point. Spoiler alert. And you're focusing. And then when the video ends, it said, how many passes did you count? And they say uh, 30, I think it is. And they're like, that's the correct answer. If you got 30, you did got correct. But did you see the moonwalking bear? And you're like, what the hell are you talking about? And then they play the video again, and you see this bear walk through the middle of the screen while they're doing the passing, does a freaking moonwalk, does a little jig in the middle of the, of the screen, and then leaves the screen. And you didn't even see it the first time, so you replay the YouTube video, and you're like, oh, my God. The bear was there the whole time. Now, that's the whole point of what I want to talk about is that you were focused on the players. You didn't see this bear. And it just goes to show you that what you focus on, you can miss something so obvious in the screen that was there the whole time. And you saw it so clear that the second time you're like, how did I miss that? But it's because what you were focusing on. And that's just how your brain works. When you focus on something so specific or just focus on something in general, it blocks out a lot of other things and that could be used to your advantage or it could be used negatively so if it's if you're focusing on the right thing obviously that's to your advantage it will block out those distractions you were able to get the pass amount of passes down correctly which was your goal of that video but if you were for example trying to figure something out but you were focusing on the passes when you should have been focusing on some other question in your life then you're going to miss the main juice of the story (laughs) that makes any sense So that's pretty much it with that example is that – and that more on that is that your brain can only handle so much stimuli at once that you need to make sure you're focusing on the right thing. And that's where the writing comes in if you write things down um, and read them or have questions that you're constantly asking yourself. Those answers will be your focus and that way you will see the correct thing and not be – hindered by distractions, or you may see things that were there the whole time as long as you're uh, focused on the right thing. And more on that, the positive side, another way to look at that, another example that's just another angle, is this has probably happened to you. It's happened to me a bunch, but um, I don't know if you ever thought of it before, but thought about it before. But basically, um, have you ever uh, seen something and then that thought goes in your head like, huh, what is that? Maybe it's a new concept, new phrase you see, like a billboard or like a, like a new place, like Donnie Duberstein's new wax factory, right? Yeah, it could be new, right? But then you're like, what the heck is that? And then the next week or so, every time you drive, you see a sign for it. And you're just like, why? I've, I've never heard of this place. And then you look it up and it's been around for 10 years, I shouldn't have said new wax factory, it's just a wax factory. And you're like, man, these, these billboards have been here for 10 years. I've never seen them. Something like that. The point is, they were there the whole time, but you never noticed them because you never acknowledged them or never focused on them. But now, since you're kind of focused on it because it was a wacky name or something like that, now you're seeing them everywhere. And yeah, obviously, they could be new. The, the wax factory could be brand new. It could, it could be a new renovated Donnie Duberstein's, but <laughs> most likely not. And they were there the whole time. And the whole point is that now that idea is in your brain and you didn't see it before, but now since it's in your brain, you're seeing it everywhere. And that just goes to show you again 
that whatever you focus on or whatever's in your head, you're going to see, even though, so your brain was blocking it out before, but now since it's in your head, now it's just presenting itself, if that makes sense. So that's kind of the concept of focusing your attentions and just wanted to hammer that home and how the writing and whatever things you're doing to try to achieve your goals, they actually help your brain see things that they wouldn't see if you weren't focusing correctly. So I think that is the entire point, and those two examples are just kind of uh, different ways to look at it that I'm sure are kind of relatable. If you take that test, I'm sh- well, now you can't take that test. I hope you've seen that test before. But um, yeah, you probably should have seen that test before. <laughs> but yeah, um, it's just what happens. So if you try to think about what you're trying to do, It'll help you block out what you don't need to see. And just remember that if you're not focused on what you're doing, you're probably missing the answers to what you're trying to answer. So answer your answers. What did I say? I don't know. That's pretty much it. Uh, If I keep talking, I'll probably talk in circles because I think I got the point across. Have a great weekend. Let me know if this is helpful. Let me know if you've ever been to Donnie Duberstein's Wax Factory. Let me know if there's a new one. I'd love to check it out. I got Groupon. Uh... It's pretty much it. So focus on what you want to accomplish and the answers will magically appear. Your brain is a magnet. Show it the poles that it should attract. Whatever. Okay. I'm out. Dunk session tomorrow. Check out the IG if you want to come. Hit me up. It's probably going to be around 12 to 1. Everybody's coming. Big Zeus, Young Berkey, Scotty Dunks. Everybody's coming to town. Should have a fun time. More podcasts soon. Might try to jump on them with them, but it's kind of hard with so many people, so I'll try to get them individually, and I'm talking really fast, and I hope you guys really like this, and I hope you guys uh, let me know what you think. Leave me some stars. I like stars. Stars are freaking sweet. It's like an Uber rating, but a podcast rating. It's not even similar. Uh, that's it. Let me know what you think. Like you, Love, love you, everybody. Like this. Like everything. Love you. Focus your brain. <laughs>